हेलो एवरी वन ना टू डेज डिस पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एम्फोटेरिक नेचर ऑफ वॉटर नाउ रिमेम्बर एम्फोटेरिक नेचर इज वॉट एबिलिटी ऑफ एनी सब्सटन्स टू एक्ट एज एसिड एज वेल एज बेस आई मीन दोज सब्सटन्सेस आर सेट टू बी एम्फोटेरिक विच आर कैपेबल ऑफ एक्टिंग एज एसिड एज वेल एज बेस नाउ वॉटर इज एम्फोटेरिक इन नेचर सो नाउ टू एक्सप्लेन एम्फोटेरिक ऑफ ने एम्फोटेरिक नेचर ऑफ वॉटर वी मे टेक हेल्प ऑफ द ब्रॉन्स्टेड लॉरी कंसेप्ट नाउ टेक ए लुक वेन एसिड लाइक एस सी एल इज डिजॉल्व इन वॉटर देन एस सी एल टेन टू डोनेट प्रोटोन टू वॉटर एंड हियर वॉटर एक्सेप्ट that donated proton and this lead to the formation of h3o plus and cl minus aqueous now as far as this reaction is concerned in this very reaction water accepting proton and acting as a base so another very important thing where water act as acid for example when <coughs> we dissolve ammonia to the water then exactly what happens then water tend to donate proton to ammonia and that lead to the formation of ammonium ion and hydroxide ion now in this very case water is donating proton to ammonia and acting as acid as per <coughs> Uh, the bronsted lorry theory thus according to bronsted lorry theory in this very case i mean in first case water accept proton and acting as a base but in latter case that is in second case water donating proton to ammonia and acting as acid what it means it means that water can donate as well as accept proton thus it can act acidic as well as basic hence water is said to be amphoteric substance so hereby using bronsted and lorry theory one can explain the amphoteric nature of water thank you very much